party. Mr. Speaker, according to Calibrate Canada, today it costs $40 more to fill up a 50-liter tank of gas than it did last year at this time. So who's benefiting from the additional $40 we're paying for every task tank of gas this year compared to last? Well, almost half of it, $19 on every tank full, is going to the big oil and gas companies. 40% or an additional $16 on every tank is being raked in by the Irving oil refinery. Governments are seeing an extra $5 in HST from every tank of gas, while an extra loony in carbon tax is being used to further reduce provincial income taxes. 90% of the increase in gas prices, Mr. Speaker, $35 of the additional 40 we pay now for every fill-up is creating windfall profits for the oil companies. Will the Premier support taxing the windfall profits of the oil companies and ensure they are redistributed to the people of New Brunswick? The Minister of Natural Resources and Energy Development. Mr. Speaker, it's a pleasure to stand here on the last day of this legislative session to have a conversation about something that we've been talking about for quite a while. We had lots of conversation yesterday in the House uh, as it relates to that, and I think one of the things to take into consideration is opposition members speak a lot about uh, big oil, bad government, uh, act now, but you know they've been very successful and probably should be congratulated about creating a narrative that doesn't properly reflect the reality of the fact that we're in a jurisdictional comparison uh, throughout the entire country where there's 0 0.6 cents a litre that separates us from Nova Scotia. Other provinces have gas prices that are actually higher than us and they're all fed by refineries as well. So when the opposition members try to make this a New Brunswick, you're horrible, this is an awful situation and doing it in isolation, they're not properly reflecting the story. Now when we got opposition members that don't want to join us in talking about areas where we can go to work in going at the federal government and having a conversation about how to collaborate and work together, then that's very disappointing Fine, that we have Minister. no support here in the left. Member for Freddie South and Leader Party. Mr. Speaker, we're paying an extra forty dollars to fill our gas tanks this year compared to last. Ninety percent of that additional cost is a windfall for the oil companies. Every time we fill up our vehicles, we're forking over an additional thirty-five dollars to big oil. Every time. As a result, they're swimming in windfall profits. Your Brunswickers want to know where the extra money they're forced to pay is actually going when they fill up their gas tanks? The answer is Irving Oil and Big Oil, Mr. Speaker. Irving Oil and Big Oil are benefiting from something that they're not responsible for. In the UK, the big oil companies are being required to pay an additional 25% tax for the next 12 months because of their windfall. Mr. Speaker, this is a one-time only tax which should appeal to this government's one-time-only approach to things. So in terms of collaboration, will the Premier work with me to convince the Prime Minister to establish a one-time-only windfall profit levy on the big oil companies? Minister of Natural Resources, Energy Development. Mr. Speaker, uh, to the member opposite, it's, uh, it, it's good to hear that he actually wants to reach out to the federal government. We say, absolutely have been saying that all along. Now, I don't necessarily know if he's got the right approach, and it seems like there's been a career made of uh, members from the Green Party of talking about how to shut down business, and we're not saying that we can't examine and evaluate. That's evidenced by the work that we're doing to, to, to reach out to organizations like the EUB to give us an analysis, talk about things, give us breakdowns, data, and information so that we can make informed decisions. At the end of the day, I come back to the fact that a narrative created by the opposition to make this a New Brunswick exclusive problem is absolutely not reflecting reality. And it's unfortunate because instead of spending time talking about how we can collaborate and work together to find solutions, they're trying to take cheap political shots, yeah. which actually goes to exactly what the former leader of the opposition after today was saying about how he wants, he wants us to shoot straight and no spin. We want that from you too.